magazine. Okay. Well, Carmen, did you get the... Yeah, I got them. Trying to reorganize this. All right, so we're going to do a truck. Is Miss Beth on? I see Miss Lynn. Yes, Miss Beth is here. All right, so what we're going to do first is this is what we're making today. This came from Pam, the sign. We are actually going to do red as our base. Did I put it on backwards? I sure did. So we're using laser eyelash as the base. All right, I get this from Paper Mark. We're using the red and white as our layers, as our ruffles. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some ruffles. And you can do these in any size. We're not going to use a lot because we're just basically filling in our wreath. Tomorrow, I will be on on our YouTube. And I know you've been waiting for the horse that I have. Let me put this underneath to cut it. Tomorrow, we're making the horse, the Christmas horse. And that came from Sugar Bridges. Let me get this under. I think it's Sugar Bridges. I'll, I'll look it up for you tomorrow and let everyone know. So we have the white with black striped mesh that came from Craft Outlet. All right. We're going to do this at 20 inches. Okay. This is for tomorrow on YouTube for all of us. This is beautiful. And we're making this today. All right. So we're going to cut this in 20 inches. Now we're not gonna need a lot because we're doing our base in the poof method, okay? So we're gonna move this over. I'm actually gonna move this over to have room to cut. There we go, so pretty. And it's gonna be really cute. We got the Red is our base, and then we have the black and white to pull the check. All right. Look at how beautiful. This is really pretty. This came from Craft Outlet. We've used the red, the white and red stripe. We also used, I think this comes in, this is your black and white and black. But there was one more color. I'm trying to remember. So red and white I used for our elf wreath. There we go. So at 20 inches. So you need at least 12. But I'm going to do it at 24, I think would be good. So that's six. Cutting two pieces at once. If I had more, I'd cut more at once because you can cut up to six pieces at once. There we go. This is eight. Beautiful mesh. This is your tenants. So it's 10 by 20, okay? That is 10 pieces. I want at least 24. All right, at least 24. Chris re redid my website, so it should look much better now and easier for you to follow along with it. So actually, that is 10. This will be 12 pieces. Um, so he actually categorized everything. We also have it where we can put the signs up when I get the press, and I'll put the sizes up with the price on there. So we're going to be working on that next. Get my eye. Ugh. Oh. Been crying all day today. There we go. It's hard when I get to know all of you and I fall in love with you and you're my family and then you get sick. It breaks my heart. It really breaks my heart. Um, like I said, Janet uh, Dean had bought the beach reef we did with the pink um, sunset. And she even put pictures in um, our prayer group on Facebook of it on her wall. 
it's like no time at all. One minute she's talking, and the next minute she's sick and she's gone. Breaks my heart. There we go. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That's right. Yeah, that's 14. This one was just a part of a roll-up, so you're going to see how you, it's going to run out faster. And then I had one whole roll. 14. pieces if you cut it in 10. All right, but you're going to see how the 20 inch looks really pretty with it. It's going to make it pop. And that beautiful navy blue check that we were talking about that I said I wanted to find something to make it with, that I'm actually going to, this is an extra little piece, that I'm going to actually use with white and this was our horse wreath tomorrow on YouTube. All right. This is going to be so pretty. And you can have the horse up all year. Well, all winter. It's a winter wreath. So all winter, not just for, you can have it up for the winter season. So all the way up till spring. So you could definitely have it up. Some people put it up um, October and then keep everything up if it's not a Christmas all the way up until springtime. You most certainly can do that with the horse. You can have it up end of October, November, December, January, February, March, and then April. When we hit spring, they usually switch that out. But some people still have snow in April. <laughs> they do. This is going to take a little bit longer because we're at our last roll. Instead of doing two at a time, I'm doing one. So I have, this makes two, four, six, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, one. So I need three more pieces. Hopefully I have enough. I should have enough. It's a roll and a half that I'm cutting up. I think I need like two more and I think we're good to go. So one and a half rolls because I had half a roll left over. So two rolls. It's going to be quite a big wreath because I'm using the poof underneath it. Two, one more, and I'm done cutting. And right there, just enough. So one and a half rolls. You'll need two rolls. And you might not want to use all that much on it, all right? Because we are using a, another type of mesh with it. Let me actually take that off. Let's move this over. Cutting tools. Wants to be a pain in my bottom. There we go. My coffee's right there. And let me grab my zip ties. inch red eyelash mesh which I used for years on YouTube one of my favorite types of mesh I prefer to do the non-cut and then to add like your ruffles with it but I love how this looks it looks like lace we think the baby threw out his tablet in the garbage nobody can find it <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me he throws everything out Yep. All right. So we're going to take this. Remember how we do this. This is a 14 inch reframe. 
All right, and this is our design we're using. So take this and go underneath. I wonder if my mom found it yet. I don't know. I don't see her on there. There you go. Take your zip tie. Come on, Carmen. We've done this before. There we go. You know how much red I went through this season? A lot. All right, so you go one, two, over. So anytime you use this type, one, two, over on any of your poops, and it's a perfect 10 inch poop, okay? Oops, and of course you broke on me. Huh. There we go. Again, 10 over around. I think I tightened that too much. I've done that before. There we go. Yep. Just go all the way around. One, two, over. You can pull, pull out your poof once it's made, okay? I do have ribbon. I have ribbon to go with it. Hi. You don't like me. It's at an angle. Use my fiskers. There we go. One, two, over. Zip tie. I'm going to use the fiskers because it's at an angle. It's going to break. Meaning this first one is right here. Just use your fiskers. There we go. There we go. One, two, over. So depending on how thick you want this, you can do two rolls, three rolls, four rolls, depending on how you want this to lay. Just remember that you're using ruffles with it. All right, so we don't need it. You don't need too much. A lot of times I can get away with half a roll because we're gonna fill it in with our ruffles go around depends on your sign too so after we're done with this we're going to look at our sign and I'm going to determine if I want to fill it more with more than two or not this is crazy can't believe you can't share anymore craziness right Nuts. What I'll do is I'll do an event our next time and see if it'll let me share the event. We'll see if that helps. Everybody's been updating just like YouTube updated and they changed their whole system. Now Facebook did. So we'll see what happens. There we go. As I said, I'm going to use the Fiskars for this. One, two, over, oops, move. Go ahead and put it, I'm gonna put it on the same bar right here because otherwise it's gonna show up a little awkward, lopsided. There you go. All right, so here's our sign. Decide if you want to do four or if you're going to be happy with two or three. I'm going to skip two and I'm going to go right to three, okay? So I'm going to go one, two, over, not using the crossbar. I'll go one, come on. Jittery fingers tonight. Don't 
don't worry about that. We shape it when we're done. One, two, over. Remember, you go on the crossbar when you do this technique, so crossbar, all right? One, two, over. If it doesn't zipper, that means it's in sideways, and it was. There you are, Ma. I was wondering if you found me. Yeah, it won't let me share the link to the messenger, but I'm going to do um, an event next time we're on Facebook and see if that gives me the option since they took it off of the way I normally do it. Facebook redid their Facebook, just like YouTube did. So, we'll see. Maybe... So I can't share it to Messenger anymore. Craziness. That's okay. I'm sure maybe if I do an event, I can share the event. So we'll see. I'll have to test it out and see if, you know, if that's a way we got to redo everything. Which we'll know. Like I said, next time I'm on, we'll I'll do an event and see if that lets me do a shareable link. All right. As it won't let me now. There we go. Around. So you're going over two sections. I accidentally cut my mesh. That's not cool. Not cool at all. Look at this one. Jab my little finger there. There we go. Pull this up. One, two. And over. So I'm going to go to, remember we're going to add our ruffles in this. So this is just like your blank canvas. So we're doing the canvas red. It's a good way of getting red in there with my white and black because I'm out of 10 inch red. I used it all. I used a lot of red this year. A lot of red and a lot of pink. Those were the two colors we used a lot of. So I'm out of red, except for eyelash. All right, so our sign is a decent size. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to bar four. All right, and we're gonna go measure it. One, two, over one on your crossbar. So everything's a crossbar, all right. You're attaching everything to the crossbar, and I'll show you in a second. All right, crossbar. We got our crossbar in between one and two for our first row. We skipped the crossbar right here, and we went up to our other crossbar above bar two for our second row, so skip two. And now we're gonna go up here to close to four. All right, so normally we go here, then we do crisscross here for two, we go here for three, and then four we go up here. So let me scroll it down. All right? So bar one, crossbar. Bar two, crossbar. All right? I actually skipped two here, and that's considered like two and a half. All right? Now I'm going to go above bar three to the crossbar here. Okay? It's cold outside. <laughs> My mom lives in Florida, and it's cold there. It's chilly here, too. It is It is chilly. There we go. It is very chilly. All right, so crossbar right here. And we're doing a three-layer poof, okay? So three layers. Make sure this, I don't like when my mesh kind of curls. So 
make sure before you pull all the way down it doesn't curl all the way there we go when you go to flip it to show it it kind of curls all right i don't want that there we go so take the outside kind of pull in move this over one two crossbar right here So the website's redone. Chris categorized everything to um, spring, summer, winter, fall pieces. And then there is a category just for the craft group, so it's not so hard to find. And then we have the sign one. So hopefully by next week, I'll be adding all my signs in there. And we have a spot on my webpage for the signs as well. So this should be a lot of fun for us. There we go. Let's take it here. So we're going to be adding ruffles to this. We're almost done. Yeah. The ruffle is going to make it look really pretty. And I love the black and white stripe. One of my favorites. It's classy. There we go. We got one, two over and under It's a little tight. Last one. And one, two. And over. So you're going to kind of go right here. Where you ended or started your last row. So just go over that zip tie. There we go. And let's grab this. And used almost almost a whole roll of this eyelash it's been such a long time since I used it you can probably if you made them a little bit smaller I used to go on all four bars but we're not using it on all four we're just to three a lot of time I do two bars with this because we're adding mesh to it alrighty and here's my sign I'm going to put that over here Make this a little lighter. We're going to go ahead and add our ruffles. And a single ruffles. We're not doing side by side. Okay. So you're doing my 20 inch flower ruffle. Let's take this. Take your thumbs. Fingers out. Push this up. Your thumbs go up with this. So up which I've showed this many times. Everyone on YouTube copied me. So I don't show it all the time now. There we go. 
We're going to take this over here. I'm going to just put it around my bar. It's really cute. So here's one. Remember, we went on the crossbar for one. So you can go right there underneath. And it's going to go right there on the side. So one. I'm going to go to two. Or you can go three, but remember your signs right there. Thumbs, fingers. You get right here in the crossbar on three. Okay, we didn't use the crisscross on three. Now we are. So just push this up. Makes it easier because no zip tie is around it. It's above it. All right, take it. Come on, where'd you go? Spine two. Over here, again, you have nothing right here. Okay? Easy to put it on because you have nothing on bar one. We used a crossbar for one. So we're going to go right here. You can even put your zip tie underneath if that makes it easier. All right. Let's take our ruffle. Thumbs, fingers. Again, I have nothing on the crossbar. Should we get that over there? Right there on three. Crossbar on three. Twenty inch flower ruffles that I do. There we go. Over. Again, there we go. Pull this out. Thumbs, fingers. Put your thumbs going upward towards the fist up. Thumbs are touching, going up. Take your zip tie, and again, right here, it's going to pull it right in between the ruffle, so it's, let me get that ruffle over, I just want some ruffle, I will pull the ruffles out, don't worry, I'm just putting this on first, kind of keeps it in check. Go. Again, R3 here, and you can take this, put it under. See, I didn't pull the ruffles out yet, so we can take it and move it under. It'll actually hold it up because it's so thick. All right, and I will pull these out when we're done. There we go. It's 
I love you, Miss Lynn. There you go. Isn't this pretty? It's classy. It's classy. Very classy. Red is beautiful and black and white is it's class. Just classy to me. There we go. Again, don't be worried about this right here. Because we're going right there on bar one. Right? Right here, and the ruffle's gonna hold it. I still have more to add, so this'll be 12. I have more that we're adding. We're just doing the out, kind of like the outside first. There we go. Come on. Okay. There we go. Under. I'm gonna go over my zip tie. You can do that too. It's being a pain. Here we go. Again. I don't know if I'm gonna do my flower ruffle that I saw everybody's been using on YouTube that I haven't done in a few months, or if we're gonna do just a regular Carmen bow. But my flower, everyone's trying to make now. It's actually funny. There we go. There we go. There we go. And cut our crisscross on three. There we go. We got four more after this, and then I have more to add in it because we're not done yet. There we go. Right here. Let me go ahead and just put it over my zip tie because it's giving me a hard time. But you can go underneath if it's easier for you. My hands are hurting today. So my iron went from 7 when we first found out I was anemic to 11.8. Yay! B12 is 389, so... Um, it's because I keep forgetting to give myself shots, so I need to just remind myself because they'll tell you that they want you to be at 800, even, even though 200 is normal, they want you, it's 200 to 1200 for your B12, the range, and, um, and they want me to stay at 800. It's good for your immune system, but my iron is up. Which is great. Uh, my enzymes went down. There's just one that was a little elevated, but it's a lot better than where everything was when I first went. So Mayo's going to be very happy with it. So it was my gastrologist I was at today. So she said if the liver enzymes go high again to come in and see her. Um, there's medicine they can put me on because it's something to do with my liver and the bell ducts. So, I don't know what in the world. All right. Why you did that, I don't know. There we go. Screens are all weird. Janie. <laughs> there you go. Isn't that what Bruce calls calls you, Janet Jane? Yeah. Yep. So they're really happy. Like she said, keep um I'm sorry I opened that way up. She said keep um, you know, 
they decreased my iron to, remember I was taking it twice a day. She decreased my iron um, to once every two to three days. And what she told me was, and I found it, I learned something new. It's very interesting. She said, drink some orange juice or apple juice with the iron pill and your body will absorb it better. I was like, what? She goes, um, and it's not so harsh on your body because the acid kind of breaks down the iron, if that makes any sense. So I went from taking two iron pills a day to one every three, every two or three days. So every other day or every third day. And she said to take orange juice or apple juice with it. Now I'm diabetic, so I'm gonna have to probably, you know, wait and, and take it after I take my insulin and stuff. So my sugar goes hot, or it'll go real high. Um, so she said, even if it's just like a little shot glass of apple juice or orange juice, uh, just take that with the iron and your body breaks it up. Basically, the acid in the apple juice and orange juice break down the iron and you absorb it better. So I went from seven to 11.8. So I'm still considered anemic, but I'm way better than where I used to be. A lot better. So she was really happy with it. So iron was decreased. Uh, my B12, I, al I already know when I go see my other doctor, she's gonna get on to me. Cause I miss, I miss, <laughs> I don't take the, they're shots. Okay, I'm gonna add some on the side. I don't take the B12 like I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to take a shot a week. One shot every Friday is what I usually, I'm supposed to do. I don't always listen. So, <clears throat> I'll remind myself in the calendar. Okay, so we're gonna take a ruffle now. I'm gonna go inside, and we've done this before. We skipped bar two. So you're gonna go in between your two poofs onto bar two, and you're gonna add a ruffle, all right? This is gonna bring this out. So we're gonna see uh, the red and the white and black contrast going through it. It's gonna be very beautiful, different and beautiful. Here we go. Open this up. So she said, you know, I have to every three months, do um, testing on my liver. I have some rare, it's not cirrhosis, it's not a fat liver, it's nothing like that. It's some disease with the bell ducts or something, but she said there is medicine that I can take to bring my enzymes and stuff down, but as of right now, everything's almost normal. So we're gonna keep an eye on it for um, three months, Every three months get a test, and when it starts to get high and it stays high, there's actual medicine for the liver to help it function properly. But I was, I can't remember what she diagnosed me with, but it is treatable. It's treatable, okay? I don't have a fatty liver. I don't have cirrhosis of the liver. It's something with the bell ducts. And she told Chris and I what it is, and I forgot the name of it. I literally forgot, but it's treatable. I can live with it, it's treatable. So um, I was happy with that. So iron, gotta keep up. And she told me I can take two of the Linest a day instead of just one if I get constipated. All right, because I have irritable bowel, but I have constipation real bad. Um, so, and I see her for colonoscopy in a little bit over a year and she'll take care of my other problem I have. So she said, keep your iron up, my B12, keep an eye on my enzymes, all three, it's the l -Cline. So your l -Cline should be 125 and under. Mine was 136, it was just a little bit high. Not high enough for her to give me the medicine. Eventually, like she said, I will need the medicine to keep it under control because it has some disease in the bell ducts of the liver and I forget what she said it Chris like I said Chris 
we can't, I don't remember the name. I can't pronounce the name. Let me rephrase that. I can't pronounce the name. I'm dyslexic, so I seriously cannot pronounce it. All right, so this goes right here. So other than that, she said, you know, just keep an eye on it. And she said, you know, I do have something. It's not contagious or anything like that. And it's treatable. So she said she would have never checked for it if they didn't um, think I had men one. It's something that goes and sides with it with the liver. So that I wasn't happy about. But it doesn't mean I have it. It means that, and like Mayo said, it's not off the table. They just haven't diagnosed me with it. Um, they're looking at the pituitary is what they're looking at. Um, so we'll know more. In a couple weeks, I go back to Mayo, and um, she puts all my blood and work and everything in for eight years into her system. And she said that um, they, they're going to try to get me diagnosed when I go see her. And that, that's treatable too. Medicine or surgery, but there is a certain medicine that actually works with the pituitary and the cortisol. So I'll find out more when I go and sit down with her. I just know I'm not taking steroids. My sugar gets way too high. So she's going to have to watch that. Go. Bar two. This is real pretty. We still have a little bit to go. Look how beautiful this is. I think I have 12 more pieces and I'll add a couple in there. I may not. I may save it. Let me see what it looks like next to our truck. Here we go. So bar two. Look at how beautiful this is. I like the black and white. I like this. It's beautiful. It's classy. It's gorgeous. Here we go. All right. So we got one, two, three, four. Remember, we're putting the sign on this, so this up here is going to be covered. But I still want to proof it. Pull it apart. There we go. This is pretty. This is your eyelash. I haven't used eyelash in so long. It's so beautiful. Very happy with it. We'll kind of move this up though. All right, so I do have, am I missing one here? Hold on. This is the missing right here. So there's three here. I need one here. I was like, why does this look weird? So I need to go right here to bar two. So I have a few more pieces because remember we cut 24. So I can even add more in here. I'm going to actually go right here. It doesn't look right. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. I'm going to add. Actually, I think this will be pretty. Yeah, I don't want to put too much more. I have one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. I have 12 left over. I'm going to save it for something else because I actually like the way this looks. I think it's beautiful. All right. So you have two ways of putting this sign on. You can actually do holes here and here or holes one on each side or four holes. All right. Depending on your type of wreath that you're using, that you're making, you can decide on which ones you want. What is it called? P B C. Oh. Well, I couldn't say it. Yes, that is it. She said it's with the bell ducks. It's a rare disease and I can be treated with medicine for it. Um, right now, my uh, one, the alkaline level was the one that was just a little bit high, but I have the antibodies for that disease and she diagnosed me today with it. Yep, that's how you say it, yep. So it's PBC. Um, as of right now, like she said, I don't need any medicine. Because uh, my um, alkaline is 136, it's just a little bit high. Um, but she said eventually I will have to be on medicine and that controls it. It's treatable. It is treatable. There's no cure. But it is treatable. Like she said, we can treat you. Um, so every three months they want to check my... Which you noticed for four years of YouTube... I keep going, they keep getting on to me because my enzymes go up and down, up and down, up and down. Now they're really high when my cortisol is high. They're really high. But yeah, that is what she said I had, liver disease. Yep, she said it was a disease and there's no cure. But she said it is treatable and every three months to keep an eye on it. And when it gets to a point where it stays very high, that she, they're going to have to put me on medicine to treat it. But yeah, that is what she said. Yep. Like I said, I have a, she said it's rare. I have a rare liver disease. All right. There we go. So I want to put this kind of like right here. This, this is pretty. Sign came from Pam. Let me take this to... She, she had tested me for every, like, known liver disease that most people have. Um, I even had a test to see if I had fatty or cirrhosis of the liver. Everything came up uh, negative. This one, she did a test on me, and it shows that I have the antibodies uh, for this liver disease. Um, is what she told me and my husband today. Um, we'll just have to keep an eye on my enzymes, is what she said. And there is medicine that I can take uh, that will bring it down. And like she said, that's something that we'll discuss further down the road when the enzymes stay high. Because my enzymes went almost to normal. It's just my alkaline right now that's up. And it's, like I said, it's like 136 and it shouldn't be any higher than 125, but that is what she said. She said it's a rare disease. She said we can treat it. There's no cure, but I can take medicine to keep uh, the enzymes and everything under control. Um, but I have the antibodies, just like with type 1 diabetes, they test you for type 1. I have the antibodies for type 1 diabetes as well. That's why they said that my my diabetes will never go away. I will keep it for the rest of my life. I am type 1, not type 2. All right. Type 2, you usually have a little weight you can lose, and you get off the medicine. I don't. Like My pancreas doesn't pump enough insulin for me. I'm type 1, and I'll, I'll be type 1 until I die, is what they said. So, But, like I said, I can live. And just take my medicine and live a, a, you know, live a life. I'm alive. 
The same thing with the liver disease. She said, you know, this is something I can give you medicine and um, we can control it. So good news is there's medicine for it. I was like, okay. So, but it is something to do with the bowel ducts and something else she was telling me. But yeah, you're right. Just, we, we couldn't remember the name. But yep, yeah, that's what she wrote on my thing. Yep, every three months I have to get blood work. Yep, to keep an eye on it. Yep, and it's the bowel ducts. Yep, the literary. That's exactly what she said. That's the exact thing. PBC. So, it's not, you know, I don't drink or anything like that. It's not from any of that. Like she said, it's an actual liver disease, and there is no cure for that. There's medicine. You can live with it. Isn't this pretty? But there's no cure. All right, I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to make a bow. We're making a bow. That's actually gorgeous. So I want to make a bow. I should have asked her if it runs in the blood, if it can run in the bloodline so I can have my sisters get tested for it. Because she literally said it's an antibody that they test for. It's a simple blood test, and that's what they did. They did blood work, and it showed that I had it. Like I said, they've been testing me and my liver for years because it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And then today they diagnosed me. And um, so I wonder if that's something that I need. Mommy, just tell Amy what it is, Mom. That way she can um, get tested. Let's see if it, I don't... I don't know if it's hereditary or what, but I was diagnosed with it. I have the antibodies for it. And every three months is blood work, they said. Okay, so we're going to go 10 and 10, which is 20. Yeah. Astrid. Yeah, I talk to Gina every day. She's, she's my, um, I call her Mommy Janet. She loves me. And she looks, she's always on my, um, medical. Alright, so we have our doggy. This is Craft Outlet Everything. This is a little red truck with a little doggy in it. It's so cute. Um, I think, I kind of want to use some of this. But I actually think that'll be too much. Maybe a little bit. There we go. Do that. Have some black and white check. You know, if I want black and white check, I might put it just in the center. some holly and Christmas holly would be pretty there we go we're gonna take emerald green I'm gonna move this because I have two of the checks open I only need one put that over there with the rest of my stuff I have the red check I'm gonna put that in the center not on it I have some green, emerald green, to match the Christmas tree. I don't think I'm going to put this on the same way as I lay these out. I think we're going to do it a little bit different. There we go. All right. I have some white. I think I'm going to put the white and this red with gold on it over here. Let me see how much I want to use of each one. See, I like the little truck, but, and it's cute in the ribbon, but I kind of like the red and white ribbon better. Oh, I have a whole bunch. I have plenty on that one. I like the red and white. I think that'll look prettier. 
because this is off white. I'm gonna put this to the side. You see I got red emerald. Red and white. Black and white check. And a little bit of holly. Which I think I think it's gonna actually hurt it. And this is fine in the legs, but I think that's gonna hurt it. I think this is gonna hurt it too. So I think one, two, three, that's four. Put a little bit of snow in it. And some red with gold, some see through. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. All right. I'm gonna take this. Uh, it's because the one with the truck in it is off white, and I kind of want it to be more Christmassy. I think it hurts it. So it's in the legs. It's fine in the legs, but I'm not gonna put it in the bow bow. There we go. Yay! There we go. And let me see what I have for decoration. I'll put some balls on this too. Yeah, I have some. I have some balls for it. All right, we're gonna do five and a half. I was gonna do the flower bow, but certainly not with the, well, I still can. Let's see, five and a half. Just do the legs with just these two. No. I'll figure it out in a minute. Here's one, two, twist. So like I said, she said, thank God you're not a drinker. I said, nope, I don't drink. <laughs> but she said, um, it is treatable to treat the enzymes. There's medicine for the liver. Um, I've been seeing this gastrologist for, um, this is my second year, and um, like I said, she finally got, she finally got me diagnosed. Today I was diagnosed with her. She's been testing my liver for two years, and when I told her what was going on at Mayo, she, this was, she said she had a hunch that I had this rare, um, liver disease, so she tested me for it and I carried the antibodies for it, but she said, good news is it is treatable. We can treat you, and I was like, okay. So every three months, blood work. As soon as the enzymes are off, they're gonna end up giving me medicine, is what she said. There's medicine for me to take to keep the enzymes down, so. <clears throat> All right, so bottom up, like I said, I'm, I'm alive. I'm happy. God is letting me live, so two, this is four, and four, down, this is my big one, all right, so when we do our other ones, we're not, we only have the leg for this one. We're going to do like a little short ones. All right, let me see what color I want next. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the green. Do a little short one so we can curl it. All right, I'm going to twist. It's your emerald green. Nice, pretty Christmas color. You go one, it's an inch shorter. And I made this a little bit shorter so we can curl it. All right, two. Now she did say that they have a surgery to clean out the scar tissue for my liver. But she said she wouldn't want to do that to me, not with all the other issues I'm having. So, um, 
So like I said, I was diagnosed today. Like I said, my liver has been off for years. Years and years and years. And um, so at least she finally diagnosed me. She did. So now Mayo, and she said Mayo can continue my care with this. And I said, no, I want to keep you. <laughs> I don't want to risk getting a guy for the liver at Mayo. I want to keep you. I trust you. And she said, okay, I'm honored. I'm honored because it's a female. I was like, nope, I'm going through you. She's like, all right. I said, I like you. I don't want to change. Nope. Because she said, you know, Mayo can continue this with you because eventually you do have to go on medicine and I said no I would rather go through you I know her it's a female I like her nope 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 I'm gonna stick with who I have she's at Bolin and Bruger and she's um her name is Catherine she's a nice lady and she does my colonoscopies and everything oh no I don't want I don't want to go nope I want to stay with her. There we go. Two, three. That's four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, this is going to squish in when we're done. I think four is plenty. All right. Remember, this all squishes in. This is one of my flower ones. So once we fluff it, it'll be fine. All right, let's see what other color I want to put. Let's take my stripe. Same length as the green. Anyways, I've had problems with the bell duck because that's the indicator when they test you. Those the, the billy ducks, bell ducks, whatever it is in your liver for eight years. And um, she's been trying to uh, diagnose me. And today we got our diagnosis. And she said, good news, we can treat it with medicine. I said, okay. I said, I know as I age, things get worse, but she's like, you you know, I take care of myself, so I'm not going to put it in God's hands. And so far, I don't have to take medicine. My liver actually went to almost normal, but it goes up and down. It's never the same, ever the same. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Here we go. Just, all right, so I think I'm going to do three here. Now, I could do four. I might do four. It's a big bow. Twist. Twist, twist, twist. Down. Down. Twist. Remember, this scrunches in when we tie it on. Okay. Here we go. It's a little bit shorter. I'm going to make sure that this is the same size because it's a little bit longer. This one. There we go. All right, so we're going to take the red. I ate a little bit before I got on, but I am hungry. 
It was yummy dinner, so I'm gonna go eat some more. I got two more courses to take and I will be all done. I will be Go Expression and some other one. Um, I will be all done with Sawgrass. I did all the sublimation and I did something else. Like they give you a certificate for making signs. I did all of them, so I got two more to do. But that's if I want to sell through them. Um, so, but I'm going to do it anyways just to get certified. So there's four courses to take with the sublimation um, program that came with the printer. So really interesting. I'm really happy with it. I like it. There we go. Squeak, squeak. Twist. Make sure you get that twist in there. This is a very fat bow. And twist. Twist, twist, twist. Down. Three, one, two, three. This all will go together once I put the band on it and curl it. All right, I am gonna take just a little bit of white. And some of this sheer red on top. We're going to do twist. I'm going to go this is very thick. Twist. in half. Two. Twist. It's very thick. It's not normal ribbon. Two. So pretty, 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 pretty. A little snow in here. Take it down and twist, cut. Let's take the shear. I'll do that. I'm gonna roll you guys up and move you. Right, everything when we fluff it out will be real pretty. Take this red, sheer red, very, 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 very big bow. So beautiful. And twist. Put your thumb right here. Push this up. Make sure you get all those legs. All right, move it. Zip tie in between the two bars. Pull the end up. So we're gonna go one, two, 
up. Here we go. Oops, come on. It's your 11 inch zip ties, and sometimes they're not even big enough. Yeah, don't do that to me. I got it where I want it before I pull it all the way up. Make sure it's under there. See how thick that is. You want to pull this to the back. Make sure everything is pulled apart so it doesn't bunch on you because it will bunch. There you go. There you go. So beautiful. One, two, one, two. So, so beautiful. And the biggest thing now is you're going to fluff it and then you're going to fluff it again. And then you'll do your legs. Get out. So, so pretty. You want them to curl them, or if you just want them to lay with a curl or twist them with a curl, everyone's different. Just remember, this is a big, big bow. All right. I'm going to put it right down at the bottom here.
So you can push it away from your truck some if you want. Remember, once we pull it in, don't over tie it because you can break this and if you lose your bow you're going to be so upset trust me i get upset you all know it's a pain especially a big one like this all right so you're just going to move it out and kind of move it down a little bit so i don't cover up my truck so much Yeah, I didn't even flip the Christmas over because you really don't see much of it with the bow, okay? So it's fine. There you go. All right, so we're going to take some Christmas balls for this. I actually have... These are almost white. They're like a grayish color from Dollar Tree. One, two, don't put a lot on here. You can actually ruin your loop. I don't need a lot for this. I don't want to ruin the sign. And the bow is huge, so we honestly don't need a lot. There we go. Come on. Oh, I hate noise. I hate it. I just want to throw it out the window. I hate this noise. Oops. I hate that noise. I hate paper moving. I, oh, it gives me chills to my bone. I can't stand that noise. Ugh. Drives me crazy. Drives me nuts. Yep. I don't like, I like taking the bags and crumb. Oh, oh, oh. I will go nuts with that noise. I don't like it. Here we go. Not one, we're going to put this in the red. Okay. So kind of in your red. So red and red. Here's our last white. Put it over in the red here. Now we're going to take the red. And just a couple of them. You don't need a lot. This is very beautiful. I'm going to take one, two. Let me see if I have another red. Two. I do. I kind of want them to be the same, and I need three. So I'm going to take these two and put the glitter red in. Let's take this. Take one. If I have one more glitter on the other side of the white, so I'm using four. Right here, there you go, it's beautiful. And we did a lot of red this year. A lot of red. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. Even though it's red on red, it's fine. just kind of want it to coincide with each other. There we go. Come on. There. We did a lot. I did so many red wreaths this year. It's unreal. Lots of red, lots of pink, and lots of blue. We did a lot of blue. Between the turquoise and the sapphire, we have done so much blue as well. All right. There we go. Here you go. Take your legs. I gotta go put this on my site for sale. I'll work on that tomorrow. We're gonna finish up that site so we can add all the signs in for everyone. So if you wanna twirl this out, remember how just like 
You can twirl it, which we've done this in the past. All right, you take them, twirl it down. Just make sure that it goes down and it's not gonna like take away, like stick out or anything. So take it this way, do a little bit. The sheer looks really pretty with this. You like it? You take this. These are like shorter pieces. So go ahead and you can just take it up. And then you leave the longer ones at the bottom. All right. So remember, we have two layers on here. You can do that. Or you can just have them go down. It's totally up to what you want. All right? It's pretty. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Like? Uh, Miss Beth loves trucks. Miss Beth, I have a bunch of trucks to make. <laughs> You're going to like the new signs. And gum chewers. Crunchy eating. <laughs> oh, yeah. that You mean when people smack their lips when they're... Oh, yeah. 